Police Minister Peggy Tsele, as well as the Provincial uh, Commissioner, Lieutenant General Ntlantlam Kwanazi, have launched the high density operation, Operation Chanela in uh, KwaZulu Natal. Operation Chanela was launched in May this year to combat crime. This Operation Chanela, Agwo Noe Nunina Aruti Aina Town Sizelo, Loy Nan Piginin. We are coming with a big brother here, Operation Chanel, that operates in the whole country, in the Republic of South Africa. That was conceptualized and come to operation on the 8th of May. We started to operate and launch into line Soweto. This operation, we saturate the streets of all major cities, towns, and dorpies, starting from Thursday to Monday morning, to try to squeeze criminality and squeeze the oxygen out of the criminals and make sure that people of South Africa, at all levels, especially women and children, they are kept safe and they feel comfort in their country. Since we have started on the 8th of May until now, we have arrested 99,754 criminals, or well, you call them suspects. Those are Mamuzungu, Baba Biza, and my suspects. Mina wabosh wa juu criminal. Sebe yokseva ke bakpero mamzungu ma ukwechwa ke na mapoisa uya suspect until ma wabosh wa jemi na of them. They have been picked up. What makes me happy? As I check of late, most of them they are still in custody. I would not know the number, but more than 80% of them that are in custody. These are not just beginning criminals. These are people that have outstanding warrant of arrest for murder, for rape, for abusing women, abusing children, bank robbery, Cash high, cash high robbery and all other serious crimes like house robberies, like car hijack and all those things, including what the, ma the, the, the speaker of Echewin spoke about, that man who killed those two women in Umkababa and buried them in the shallow grave. I'm glad to say that man has been arrested too. So that's a kind of people that we arrest. Indeed, Speaker, this city of ours is not very much out of the wood when it comes to the criminal matters. For some reason, there are three areas that forever lead around here. Is your Deb and Central is forever tops. Unfortunately, all Centrals in the city whether it's Cape, Cape Town Central, whether it's Johannesburg Central, whether it's Etewini Central, whether it's uh, Bloemfontein Central, uh, the, those cities, they lead in criminality. They become central in crime. So this city, this station, which is almost less than a kilometer where we're standing, is one, is one station that we must look after because it gives us a lot of crime. That's one. But secondly, we've got two stations that, f that forever refuse to move away from the top five of criminality. Inanda has made it home to be number one when it comes to rape. There was a song here, Nyawos, at uh, Mofunukwenza knows that happened. Latin 
OZTP. Anga azguti mafuna ugye nandu zotola anu. Pati nanda is one police station and one area that produces rape. Protection ni abi rape. I can see umlazi provincial commissioner keeps moving at least has moved, I think, from a matter to number 11 or less than that, have moved a little bit away. But Inanda refuses to move from number one and number two when it comes to murder. Which means, Speaker, all of us at the local level, at the provincial level, and at the national level will have to have focus, Inanda, will have to work hard that they move from that notorious number one position. You can't have a station that is permanently number one when it comes to the serious crime. At a certain given point, they'll have to move.